In my intro to film class right now, we're talking about the early filmmaker D.W. Griffith. One thing he was notable for was how he broke down scene, an individual scene into separate shots, and it got me thinking about the album construction and the intent of song order. Do you see the songs on Among the Grey as a collection of individual scenes or as, a specific, sh uh, or as specific shots making up one scene? That's really interesting. Um, this is definitely the first album that I've really thought of as 
a whole. I think some of uh, my other two albums are really were really just collections of songs, and 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 maybe not even seen. You know, they weren't scenes that made up a whole thing. They were just kind of different things that I, <laughs> I wanted to make a record, so they just happened to fall on the same record. But this one was really different in that um, there were some themes and some you know musical themes and lyrical themes that went through all of them. And so in that way, it's definitely kind of scenes to a larger piece. Um, but there's a lot of different kinds of things on the record too. So in that way, um, I really tried to explore each song as its own little world and, and um, you know, thinking about the larger picture and how it fit into that, but at the same time kind of giving it everything that it needed um, on its own, to stand on its own. What were some of those themes? Um, musically, there's uh, part of it was just having kind of the same band. We, did, we tracked a lot of this stuff live, and um, Drew was playing mostly guitar. Um, he tracked with us live on one song, and um, JC on drums, and we had a, a, a bass player named Emily Hagahara. Um, and so that's kind of one of the things, so just the overall energy. Um, the core four. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but some of the musical themes as well, there's a few descending lines, um, specifically in building and a couple other things. There's, um, there's this one descending line that you can hear that comes back over and over again in several songs. And um, lyrically, I think it's just about relationships, not necessarily romantic relationships, but just, you know, how we relate to the world and other people and our lives. and. Um, and navigating those relationships. So. I mean, I think that's probably what most music is about <laughs> when it comes down to it. Um, so that's very general, but 